Hi, she was seven. So I wanted to make this video um, to address, there are so many negative media and news stories out right now just circling television, Facebook, YouTube, just everything. And so many people are feeding into this and buying into this and I'm not saying it's not true, but I'm saying they're taking your focus and your energy away from what you need your focus and your energy to actually be on. Um, if you have no power to do anything about these things that you're watching and witnessing, and you don't plan on doing anything but talking about it, then your attention and your energy is best spent elsewhere, like your family, you know, creating something, uh, working towards a goal. Um, doing something that can help you and your own family, moving yourself up in the world, uh, saving money, uh, thinking of new business ideas to improve on your lifestyle and getting your family into better environments if you're not in the best environment right now. So all your energy and all your focus is taken away from what really matters and what you can really control you can't control what other people are doing. You can't bring the dead back. You can't do any of that. All you can do is get yourself up and out of <clears throat> the place where you cannot thrive. You know, our our focus should be on our children, our children's education, um, their well-being, our well-being, our ability to improve upon ourselves, learning more knowledge. I mean, complaining doesn't do anything. If you don't have the power to change it, focus on yourself because you do have the power to change that. And you do have the power to improve on your life, your lifestyle, your children's lifestyles, and generations to come. So when I see a lot of people posting things like that, and they're just sitting in there looking at it, feeding into it, you know, they're bringing their vibration down. They're bringing negativity into their lives. They're now expecting these things to happen to them, and they're on the lookout for it. Therefore, they're bringing it upon themselves. So if you are a true metaphysician, if you are a true believer in the law of attraction, if you are a practitioner of the universal law, and that's what you live by, then you shouldn't even be feeding into this, okay? Because even though there are injustices in the world, there are good things that happen in the world, okay? Everything has an opposite. If you can't change it or prevent it or bring the dead back, then don't waste your energy, okay? Acknowledge the fact that this happened, but has nothing to do with your immediate life, okay? And I know some people are gonna say, well, um, it's not right, it's not right, but it's been happening forever, okay? In all parts of the world, with all races of people, um, our division, our division between male, female, black, white, um, other races against other races, that division is there for a reason and it's to keep you from focusing on yourself and becoming a better person. So if you have, if you have, you know, all the tools in your toolbox to better yourself, but you're focusing on something that you can't fix, then what use, what good are those tools if you're focusing on what cannot be fixed? When your, um, your toolbox is to build yourself and things for your family and things for your future generations, but you're focusing on a problem that has nothing to do with your immediate family, to do with you. Now, if you are involved in some of the news stories, and it does affect your immediate family, then you need to focus on how to prevent that for the next time, how to analyze it, you need to seek justice, because that's your battle. <clears throat> uh, if something happened to a people as a whole, like, in, like at the same time as a whole, no matter what status, financial status, environment, and da 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 da, then yes, that would be an immediate cause for attention and action. But when things are, how do you say, scattered, pit, you know, created to cause division among people, ignore that and you won't 
you know, you won't fall victim to it. Um, I can't do anything about it. I can't bring back the dead. Um, the media makes, you know, awareness. So I don't have to do that. Um, all I can do is say, focus on yourself. Create a life that you don't have to worry about certain things. Um, I really truly believe that. And a lot of people will disagree because they're stuck in a, in a place where grief, worry, anger, and all of those things help them to understand why they cannot move up in the world because they would rather make excuses rather than make actions to change themselves. Okay, you can't complain about anything else unless you're in the position to do something about it. If you're not in any type of position, then you can't complain, okay? That would be like somebody in jail or prison complaining about something that's happening outside of the prison, you know? That would be like a prisoner mad at who is getting elected president. They don't have the right to vote. They're not even living in that society. They're stuck in prison, serving out a sentence, and they really have no input. So their energy is basically wasted worrying about something like that. Now, I'm not saying uh, they, they don't have a right to an opinion, but their opinion doesn't even count. So their energy is basically wasted. Um, so don't waste your energy on things that you can't change. You don't have the power to change. Focus on what you can change and get yourself into a better position so that you really don't have to worry about certain things. Um, you know, that's what we're supposed to do. When we are faced with um, things that come against us, we're supposed to rise, not sink to the same level. That makes no sense. We're supposed to rise above it, above. You get it? Rise above it, okay? And when I say rise above it, I mean in every way, in the physical way, in the spiritual way, in the financial way, in any way you can rise above your issue, your problem that you see in the world, do it. Because there's no sense of getting down and dirty if you can't clean yourself up from it. There's no sense in getting involved in something. You have no power to change. Put your energy towards yourself and your family and in a year, I guarantee you, you'll see a huge difference. I know that's what I do. So when people ask me about current events, conspiracy theories, this, 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 and that, I just tell them, well, I really don't focus on that because I'm too busy focusing on getting myself and my family up. And if anybody knows me, you know, <clears throat> they'll know that my focus is never that. I don't feed into it. People have been saying this since 2009, since 2012, since 2013, since 2014, it's 2015. They're still waiting on something bad to happen. And while y'all are waiting on this big bad thing to happen, guess what? You're losing time. You're losing precious moments to rise you're still here while others have come here and that's why they're not worried about all this craziness that y'all are predicting so let's just keep it positive i do believe that when the pendulum swings it also swings back the other way so remember that and study your universal law get your mind where it needs to be and turn off that television. Okay, bye.